Back of the naturopath, thank you for coming back. We're still talking about autoimmune conditions. Why do people who have an autoimmune condition get nowhere when they rely just solely on pharmaceutical medications every day? Now, a lot of these people are still old school. They're still baby boomers like me. They're old dinosaurs slowly dying out. Younger people are starting to think differently about their health. But if I look at my parents, for example, I mean, God and the doctor were basically the same thing you know it was almost like you might as well call the doctor jesus because that's what they thought of the doctor so everything that came from the doctor's lips was like pure gold you know so if a, if a patient got put on a drug the patient stayed on the drug that's how it was because god has spoken and god lays down that law it's finale okay well i'm sorry but i don't think that the doctor is god okay but it's not to say he's the devil either. I mean, the doctor is just a guy like me, okay? Just a normal bloke, a normal guy, all right? He doesn't know everything. He's not God. God knows a lot. I don't think the doctor knows everything. You should not take... I've done a video on this previous. You should not be on antibiotics, for example, with autoimmune conditions. But relying on pharmaceutical drugs to cure your autoimmune disease, honestly, it's just insanity. It's not going to work because you're really taking your eye off the ball. You're not looking at the inflammatory condition of the body. You're masking it with pharmaceutical drugs. You're not looking in the right direction. You're not looking at causes of autoimmunity because medicine still says that there are no known likely causes for autoimmune diseases. What a load of baloney. We've known now for years that people with autoimmune disease need to fix this thing up, their gut, okay? If they fix their gut up, they're likely going to reduce that inflammatory response and come off those pharmaceutical medications. I've spent half my life getting people off pharmaceutical drugs. And I found that when I did that, we were a lot better off. It's interesting when I, I uh, read online not that long ago, one of the top pharmaceutical drug bosses in the States, one of the top guys, I won't mention his name, uh, on a you know multi-million or billion dollar salary or whatever it was, he actually said that if we threw all the pharmaceutical drugs in the ocean, the world would be a lot better off, but we'd probably kill half the fish. So, yeah, so just be careful. I'm not here bagging and slamming the pharmaceutical industry. We need pharmaceutical medications. They're lifesavers, okay? But for you to go on a drug for years and years and years and years and years when you've got an autoimmune condition is stupidity. It's getting you nowhere. My strong recommendation if you've got an autoimmune condition, is to get the gut assessed and to fix that gut up. You fix it up properly with help through a doctor or a naturopathic doctor or a nutritionist, but somebody who has an interest in the human microbiome. If you just do that one thing, assess the gut and take every step you can to improve that gut, to get the health of that gut back, you won't need pharmaceutical medications, okay? I've been taking pharmaceutical medications over 40 years and I'm not dead yet. All right. So just remember that taking pharmaceutical medications multiple with autoimmune conditions is swimming against the tide. OK, it's like jumping out of a plane without a parachute. You're going to hurt yourself. It's going to hurt bad one day, maybe real bad. OK, because we all know what happens if you jump out of a plane without a parachute. It's not looking good, is it? The same thing would happen, you know, if you stay on those drugs long term. And remember this, I like this saying, all right, that minds of people are like parachutes. They work best when they're open, all right? Parachutes don't work when they're closed. Usually you hit the ground pretty hard, but when it's open, you go down slowly. Keep your mind open. Don't think that the doctor is Jesus, okay? But the doctor's not Satan either. The doctor's a normal man or female like you or me. They make mistakes. They're hurried. They're busy. They're worried about their, their wife, their kids, everything, or their, their, their husband, whatever. But that's the point I'm making. Keep an open mind. Keep an inquiring mind. Talk to other people. But try and get off these medications as much as you can with autoimmune disease and repair that gut. And you'll find that lots of things will start slowly coming back into shape and you won't need those drugs anymore. I'm just saying. Thanks for tuning in.